Good morning, wonderful people from Johnny and Trevor here in Australia. Hey, Johnny, say hello. We've been running in the park this morning and he just wants to sniff everything. I guess he's a dog, right? And dogs do what dogs do. Beautiful morning here in Australia and I wanted to share a video with you that came to me the other day and what I feel both compelled and excited to share this video with you is that and pleased whatever the words I'm looking for is that it highlights that we're all human and no one can escape uh, the things that can happen to humans whether you're a normal everyday person or a megastar or a professional athlete which I think at the end of the day are all human however TMS and chronic pain can impact anyone and as the video title says I think Tiger Woods the world champion golfer had TMS or maybe still does have TMS I don't know but I like playing golf I'd like to be better at it but I really admire Tiger and I'm impressed with his discipline and I've read books about him and his life and it hit me and I wanted to share this with you to have the goal and aim to help you feel more hopeful, know that you're human and this can happen to anyone, even a world champion athlete. And where am I going with this story? Well, I was reading in one of the books written about Tiger that at one point in his career, he contracted chronic lower back pain and without going into all of it he ended up having surgery and what the diagnosis was that because of all the repetitive swinging that he'd been doing as a golfer it had aggravated his lower back core sciatica which was a reason for the surgeons to go in and do whatever they do to do lower back surgery to help relieve lower back pain now i don't know whether that helped or not uh, however what i believe is and why I believe this is that actually Tiger was suffering with chronic TMS pain because of, let's look at the signs, massive stress, lots of conditions and restrictions and structure and discipline and pressure that was put on him from a very long, young, from very young age and the demands of being a professional athlete and also if you know anything about him the demands he puts on himself perfectionism and all these things that would impact people who contract TMS pain and so I think that he had TMS and he was misdiagnosed and he hopefully he's doing well hopefully it worked and eased the pain so tiger if you see this or if anyone gets this message to him i hope you're doing well you're an amazing athlete and i also want to say that the pressures that we can get ourselves into or put on ourselves i believe are the contributing factors that cause chronic tms pain again let's revisit revisit the basics a type personality child trauma perfectionist sensitive critical of oneself challenged in being able to communicate our needs and being kind and gentle to ourselves always pushing 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 never setting boundaries maybe being a people pleaser all these things always looking like you're soldiering on these are the things that cause chronic pain and I know this is not easy. I've been on the journey and I know everything that comes with contracting and experiencing chronic pain but also moving through and now living pain free and I'm not saying it doesn't come up now and then. I had a little twinge in my shoulder the other day after having a workout at the gym. Now whether it was TMS or just whatever, I just told my body we're okay. Nothing to be concerned about here and kind of later that day it was gone but I now have a belief that it will go 
And I think there is a lot of power in that message, which is the belief that it will go. Now, it took me a long time to get there, but they are one of the things that I've realized now helps me is I just have an, an unconscious belief that it will pass and it passes. But getting back to the topic of Tiger, uh, he's human. He was diagnosed by someone who thought that he needed surgery. And here's the kicker. There's a few other golfers in the world, right? There's a few other golfers that swing and practice with that club the same amount of times, even though Tiger was a uh, relentless, probably uh, unreasonable person who practiced and practiced. So he swang that club a lot and probably still does. But I know other professional golfers that do just the same and they have no pain. They have no issues with their lower back and they're not getting surgery so is it the swinging and the movement or is it that what's going on in here because i'm coming up to my 60th year on the planet next year and i go to the gym i squat i train i run i skip i dance i don't wake up the next day with chronic lower back pain I don't have these things in my body because of, oh, I'm getting older and, oh, you know, the body breaks down and, you know, you've got to take it easy and I'm not wanting to be disrespectful. I know I'm being a little bit uh, facetious and cheeky there, but so much comes from our belief and understanding around what we believe we're capable of. Sure, maybe I don't move quite as fast as I did once upon a time, however, I move. I'm with my little dog, we just did a couple of laps of the oval and I believe that the belief is so, so important. What it is that we believe will happen and what we can do is so important. So please, and so getting back to Tiger, what if he was told, Tiger, let's take a look within here. Let's have a look at why your body's producing pain or why your brain's producing pain. What do, you, what do you need to communicate? What do you need to share? What do you need to do to find some peace and put, be gentler with yourself and to have a break and to let it all out or whatever it is and get some counseling around the mindset of things. What if he was given that approach? Maybe he never needed to be put under the knife, which I don't believe he did. That's, that's my belief. So coming back to the story here is, what do you believe? Do you believe that it's a mental condition? Do you believe it's a physical condition? This is something for you to stay focused on because I truly believe this brain that we have got is more powerful than we can imagine. It is capable of doing so much. And think about all the things you've created and manifested and what you've done and is now reality. And at some point that came to you from a thought that you had. So what if you kept believing that there's nothing wrong with you, your body can heal, while you create space for safety, you're gentle with yourself, you allow yourself to feel, you do all these simple things that can help loosen the brain's pressure that it's hanging on to and causing these pain conditions and I believe that you know what it is that you need to do and if you're doing it wonderful and wherever you're on wherever you're at on your journey you can do it I, I, it's possible uh, these are these are feelings and sensations in the body that we can release and let go of and I hope Tiger's in a good space and uh, I hope wherever you're at today you can keep yourself in a good space and to be really loving and if you do feel stuff in your body to give it love to give yourself love to give yourself patience and time because it is possible to move through it it is possible to let go of all those pains and feelings and I believe in you so believe in yourself you can do it thanks for watching uh, I've got some more good videos to come I'm uh, re-editing my How I Cured My Neck and Back Pain book with a lovely lady who's reached out to help me uh, get my book uh, re-edited and I'll look forward to sharing that with you and if you'd like to hear more about my story and what I've learned and done on my curing pain journey, uh, it'd be a pleasure to share that with you and please reach out, 
what are you doing to help yourself uh, what have you experienced can you relate share I'd love to hear from you and if you'd like to like the video and subscribe you get updates on when I've got more videos coming through and I, I love helping people in this space and I know how important this work is to help the world navigate themselves uh, with by being able to release all these pains and to be able to have a better quality of life is what I wish for you and I wish for me and I wish for everyone so sending love look forward to speaking to you soon and have a beautiful day out for now ciao